This training video is brought to you by K Alliance. K Alliance is the 21st century's educational corporation specializing in the most comprehensive enterprise training solutions, ranging from e learning to instructor led training. Press play for success. After watching this video, be sure to become a Facebook fan to receive the latest updates, promotions, and course releases. You can also subscribe to our YouTube channel to preview the latest desktop, soft skills, and IT training videos. Now, technically, every input-output device is a peripheral component, okay? But there are additional peripheral components. And the, def the definition of a peripheral would be anything that's outside of the computer. Uh, it's an external component. It can be added later. It's not a permanent part. Uh, but technically, if you really want to get technical, even things that are inside the computer can be considered peripheral components because they weren't a permanent part. They can be added and removed. There are actually a wide variety of peripheral components that are available for personal computers. Most are also input-output devices. You know, technically, any component that connects to a USB port is a peripheral component. Uh, USB, the, the rectangular-shaped uh, ports of which there are at least four, it seems, on every desktop and sometimes even more. It's become a, a very uh, a very big standard. Basically, almost any kind of device can be plugged into a USB port. Mice, keyboards would be a couple of those devices, although they have their own ports as well. Microphones and speakers would be considered peripheral components. Webcams, we've talked about all of these. Uh, and then you have TV tuner and capture cards. Uh, TV tuners give you the ability to, uh, to uh, tune in to live TV through your cable. So I can hook up essentially the cable connection to a card on my computer. What does that allow me to do? Well, it allows me to watch TV on my computer, but it also would allow me to record TV and play recorded shows. Uh, it is acting as a digital video recorder or DVR of sorts. Flash card readers give me the ability to read the uh, little flash memory cards that you would use in mobile devices like smartphones and or cameras. And they allow me to then transfer photos generally from those cards onto my uh, computer. And so most of your modern desktops will come equipped with a, a flash card reader. But if not, you can, or you can buy one and it would be considered a peripheral component. Again, this is scratching the surface because there's all kinds of additional devices that we can plug into uh, the printer. You know, the USB port that kind of covers it. It covers it all. For instance, the uh, the coffee uh, the coffee cup warmer that co that plugs into the USB port. That's a peripheral device. But then again, so is the mouse and the keyboard that plugs into the USB port. So is the network card that pl plugs in to the USB port and on and on we go. So USB is the standard that provides a connection for any number of different devices. The point is, is when we say peripheral, we're talking about something that's not permanently part of the computer, can be added or uh, removed later. Now, as we said, in the case of hardware, our computer needs electricity and power. In the next section, we're going to take a look at uh, and try to get an understanding of cabling and power that's required for the PC to function.